sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust on you. The reason why I'm bringing up all of these things that uh, Thurston Howe Third is involved with because I think it's, it's, it's useful, it's beneficial, especially in this culture, in this hip-hop community, especially when you got an artist, a person who's been in the game for a decade or two, and then you got a person who's been, you know, striving and, and, and finding their path and trying to create their legacy, like our next guest, Adam Vita, who's here from the Bay, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Hi, because, Adam. Yeah. Hi, guys. You know what I like about Adam? Adam's patient, number one. Number two, he's lucid. He's present. Because a lot of times you can have a newer artist sitting next to an OG who's giving you the blueprint of the game and they're not even paying attention. Mm. They're in their phone, they're seeing who's liking, who's, you know, they stream trying to get, they they interested in doing this. Well, mean, meanwhile, this guy is giving game. So I kept the conversation going and I'm watching you in my peripheral to see how you react to it. Because to me, that's a testament of the dedication you have as an artist, as a creator. You know, a, pro a producer, you know, uh, and I say producer because you're producing things, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to make yourself available for information. So I commend you for that. I'm watching you, Adam Vita, because you from where I'm from. This is this is what I came up on. So, hey, man, I'm telling you, bro, like before before East Coast hip hop for me, it was nothing but Bay Area underground. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Mac Dre, Mac Maul, Messy Mar, San Quinn and all that E-40. But then. Um, I, I didn't even know like lyrical hip hop was a thing that uh -huh. you could do. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when I found it, it was like I was addicted. You know what I'm saying? To to the lyric, the, the syllable matching, uh -huh. and that because that was like something I hadn't heard before. Is like cats actually trying to match syllables together. Uh -huh. You know, um, instead of just talking about what they do. Who was who um, was some of those uh, lyricism? Huh? Who was some of the early artists that that you gravitated towards Man. that was that was doing that? Um, the first. The first that I really noticed it from was um, Wu Tang members like uh, Inspector Deck, uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, Ghostface. You know, in fact, at that time I always kind of liked Ghostface less because I felt like his syllables didn't match the same as some of the other members. Until I got older, and I really understood his style better. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, but I used to, th those were the Napster days, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I used to spend like hours just downloading music and just nerding out on hip hop bars, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so I was downloading like, like wake up show stuff. I was downloading Swain Tech stuff. I was downloading like a anything I could get my hands on to hear bars, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Chino XL, freestyles in the morning, like everything, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, um. Uh, so that's why, like, when you was when you speaking, bro, like, I, I was just soaking it all in. It's yeah. crazy. Like, I'm telling you, bro, this is so crazy, overwhelming for me. Like, sit, watching 90s uh, MTV, sitting next to Heather B, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> on the real world, like, <laughs> yeah. with Sway. Like, this is my childhood. It's Maney, bro. Like, wow. You know, so. Damn, he said Maney. Did you hear that, Carmack? Yeah. He said Maney. They don't know what Maney. You got to express what tell them what Maney is. Maney is uh, very crazy. Uh, wild, unbelievable. Yeah, that's a that, and that's that's kind of a San Francisco uh, short for maniac. It's right. It's bass slang. Oh, maniac. Right. Yeah, bass slang. Maniacal. Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably. Um, Adam, um, you've been at it for how long now? Man, since uh twenty. 2010 I say 2011 2010 mm -hmm. 2011 yeah. so you put in some real years man I, I pay some dues definitely bro yeah yeah in fact I got my start in New York how uh I was I moved out I was getting into trouble back home in San Francisco you know what I'm saying I was up to no good at that time I was just like rapping as a hobby mm -hmm. I knew I loved it but I didn't really think I could it was realistic to do it as a career so I was just hustling mm -hmm. you know what I mean and then I got into trouble and uh you know, falling out with 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 family and all that, and mm -hmm. I just wasn't up to anything good. And my friend called me from Boston and was like, "Dude, I got a studio out here. Like, you should just come, stay, work, get a regular job, and just like work on music while you're out here." So I moved to Boston for like about a year in 2009, and then the following year I moved to New York because. I mean, the, I felt like I wasn't getting the full East Coast experience by mm -hmm. just being in Boston. Is that your phone? Hold up, hold up. Don't know. We got a rule. If your phone rings, you got to answer it on speaker live on oh, air. Oh, okay. who is it? Who is it? You got to tell them where you at. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you got to do it, though. Hey, I'm on. Hey, I'm on. I'm on sway in the morning. Don't say anything dumb. <laughs> I'm on sway in the morning. Don't say anything dumb. 
<laughs> that mean he ain't got nothing to say, man. Hey, he gonna call you back, dog. Yeah, my bad. Who was that? Uh, that was a. It doesn't matter. All right, cool. Matter. So, so you you moved to New York to get the full East Coast experience. When did you put out the book of Adam? So I put out the book of Adam after I got back to the Bay in okay. 2011. But mm-hmm. but my first real um, moment of being recognized. I put I did a mixtape in while I was living in New York in 2010 called uh, After School Special, mm-hmm. where me and my boy Wu Star and my other partner um, Isaac uh, put together. I was producing too at that time, so we put together we compiled a bunch of beats that were all sampling uh, 90s TV shows. Mm-hmm. So it was like all that from Nickelodeon. I don't know mm-hmm. if y'all yeah, yeah, all Nickelodeon, yeah. yeah, all that, That's yeah. Big, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 Pokemon, um, Family Matters, uh, like. Uh, reading rainbow so it was like we we used all those theme songs to make the beats and then that kind of like went viral because because um nickelodeon reblogged it mm-hmm. at the time in the tumblr days and then that's when i first i got my first little buzz on the internet then i went back to uh the bay area and put out book of adam and then that's like when it really started taking off because then i started getting bay area fans uh-huh you know what I'm saying? wow that's great man it's interesting about the bay because i was just talking killer fresh as a young artist out of the bay out of oakland him and my cousin quasi representing the repti crew and i was uh, telling them sometimes you gotta the bay is interesting because a lot of people come to the bay to get game and then they leave and take it wherever they want to take it right. and disguise and act like they created something that was already in the bay um but a lot of people from the bay you seem like you got to leave the Bay. Right. To go right, get it. Right, right. And then come back to the Bay. But you got to come back. You got to You got to bring it back yeah, to the Bay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, even like, even like, you know, like g Easy. you know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, he's like the biggest artist, one of the biggest artists my in my age group, mm. you know, in the Bay Area. And he had, you know, he had to go and do his thing and come, kind of perfect his thing and then come back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know what why that is exactly, but... Uh yeah, the bay the bay is is is, is interesting now because the scene is so specific. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. like you either love it or you hate it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially mm-hmm. like when I was living out here and I'll play Mac Dre for people mm-hmm. or E40 or whatever. Like it it was either like they fell in love or to them it was just garbage, which mm-hmm. is unbelievable to us because when we were growing up, Mac Dre was like was like God. He was like Jesus, New Testament. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was it was cats in my high school that literally lived and died by what Mac Dre said in his lyrics like that's mm-hmm. how they wanted to live their life mm. so it's crazy that that it that's I didn't realize that that was so specific to us you yeah. know I thought that was just something that everybody knew right. everybody liked right. nah had a lot to do with the, <laughs> but it had a lot to do with the radio too like it's how ra- radio was programmed up here right. that it only catered to a certain sound so our ears got used to a certain sound and anything that didn't sound like that is like foreign right. almost, mm-hmm. you know. Right. So it does sound like, you know, get that what you listening to, right. bro. Like get that out of here, you know. So it had a lot to do with the radio, believe it or not. Right. And that's one of the benefits I think of this digital age is now you've got so many options and ways and places you could go to hear music that the radio doesn't dictate True. any longer. So mm-hmm. Thurston Howe the third or Adam Vita, Adam Raps, like hey Adam Raps, to have a successful career, sell out venues and never have a song on the radio. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. Wow. Back in the day, it was hard to do that, right? It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> what I was going to ask you, Adam, is you can't help but heavily notice a lot of up-and-coming artists will lean a lot on a spectacle to get them in front of eyes, to get their music in front of ears, you know, whether it's with their appearance or whether it is doing something wild for a music video or right. saying just in a crazy ass freaking lyric. Does that get frustrating when you see a lot of these like attention whores? Um, I think it would be frustrating if there was a lot of longevity in that. Uh-huh. But I think why why it doesn't bother me at all is because most of the people that I see that that use that to become famous are like gone a few years later. You know what I'm saying? They they you can't rely on a gimmick and don't have the talent to back it up. Uh-huh. If you have a, a gimmick to get popular, but then you have the talent to back it up, then you can have longevity. And in that case, then I respect you because then you just found a way to get people to see your talent. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. But if you but if you all you have is a gimmick you know what i mean and then it's like i there's no threat there's no competition there's no there's no threat of like competition for mm-hmm. someone like me because like i actually i actually work on what i'm doing i work on the on the craft of of rapping you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying i mm-hmm. write i i like 
I, I spent time practicing before wow. shows and all mm-hmm. that. You mm-hmm. know, I, I come from, I come from that time where that was important. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, or at, maybe the tail end of that time. I don't know. You know, you come like, from the tail end, but you carry on that tradition that yeah. I think shouldn't be lost. You know what I mean? It's I think it's great that you practice at your craft. I was with Floyd Mayweather last night, and I was like, man, how grueling is this training you doing at 40? He said, man, you know what I mean? It's it's grueling. You got to be obsessed with your craft to be the best at it. Mm. You know, the obsession is what's going to separate you from the others. Obsession. Obsession is going to separate you from the others. Oh, yeah. Another point I was going to make is as you continue to climb up the ladder, the woman count is going to get crazier. Mm. And now you you obviously know in 2017 – women will set you up and they'll have like camera phones blah 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 or they just obviously want to you know collect the crumbs from your come up so are you looking at relationships differently since now you're going to be in front of the camera more um you know i haven't put a lot of energy into thinking about that to be honest but um but now that you're bringing it up i mean i I, i'm aware i'm aware of the dangers of it but at the same time it's like i i don't I, i i'm just not i'm not I have too much at stake with what I'm doing right now to really be putting all my heart and soul into a relationship at mm-hmm. the moment. You know what I'm saying? And um, all the relationships I've been in have been with girls that were with me like when I had nothing. You know what I'm saying? When I was like just just struggling to pay my phone bill or whatever. So I kind of feel like um, those are the type of girls that I would gravitate towards anyways. Right. So I don't know. I was, ra- I was raised by almost all women like... My my house growing up was my grandma, my mom, and my sister, and I very infrequently see my father. So I feel like they gave me so much game to work with that I'm just it, that doesn't even really like. I don't I don't think that's gonna affect me too much. Give out your social media. Um, my social media Adam Raps on IG A D A M R A P S, and on Twitter same thing A D A M R A P S or Facebook dot com slash Call Me Adam. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm Juice is off of what project? Or is it just a single? Oh, it's a single right no, now. No, no, yeah. um, but it's it's definitely gonna be on on whatever upcoming project I put out. It's gonna something in the fall. Let sure. them know what you think, citizens. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. This is I'm Juice by Adam Vita, yeah. aka Adam Raps. Sway yeah. in the morning. Thurston How the Third is here. Mr. Ladies Carmack is here. Friday Cipher yeah. up next. Let's go. Come on. Sorry, it's Sway in the morning. Only from Shade 45.